Hello, thanks for joining us. It's going to be tricky this because we're on a very narrow footpath, but uh, yeah, uh, thanks for joining us on another little walk. And um, we're already on plan B. We're staying at uh, our, one of our favourite little campsites, Coombs Valley. And um, we were supposed to be heading out on a walk um, around the full circuit of Coombs Moss today. But um, the weather's pretty grey and ropey and threatening rain. And uh, I'm feeling a bit under the weather as well. I've got a problem with uh, my ear. So uh, if my uh, voice level is up and down on this, do forgive me. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to get rid of that. So uh, anyway, we've decided to uh, cut down the walk a little bit and we're just going to do the first part of it and um, take a slightly different route but get up to um, the corner of Coombs Moss where Castle Nays Hill Fort is and uh, just spend a little bit more time exploring the hill fort uh, which is a really interesting place so I'll show you a bit more of that when we get up there so uh, yeah stick along not a very long walk today I don't think but uh, should be a nice one and who knows may uh, get back down to the uh, beehive pub for a pint later never <laughs> right so uh, the uh, first part of this little circuit we've decided on is uh, just following the uh, uh, Manchester to Buxton Railway um, just as far as Chapel on Le Frith Station and then we'll cut up to the right uh, towards a farm that I can't remember the name of but I'll tell you when we get there because I'll have a look at the map just over there you can see where I was uh, wild camping a couple of weeks back just uh, did, did, did. There. South Head. <laughs> nice, uh wooded track up from uh, Chapel on Lafrith Station and it's uh, Ridge Farm is the one I was trying to think of, that's where we're heading. As you uh, start to rise up you get the first view up onto uh, Coombs Moss and that would have formed one of the defensive sides of um, the promontory hill fort up there. We'll, uh, we'll be getting a lot closer than that. Yeah from here you get a yeah, pretty good view up onto the edge. You can see a few people walking up that way. It's probably the gentlest way to get up there actually it's quite gradual up to the road and then you just cut back towards it along a little uh, little track and then uh, the last bit no getting away from it it's quite steep but uh, it's only a short climb onwards <laughs> don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the uh, GoPro it's, um, you can see it marked on the OS map and the old uh, Iron Age route up to uh, the end of the, um, you know, the main uh, earthworks just went its way up the side of the hill here and uh, yeah you can see it quite clearly with the naked eye the, uh, the route that you take up to the edge now is more direct at the at the uh, right at the end, but uh, yeah, you can clearly see it. The old route, 
and it arrives right at the end of the old earth workings. So I've reached the, uh, the first of these earthworks that I've mentioned and you can clearly see this goes diagonally up the slope behind me and then it cuts right to reach where I mentioned before which is the end of the uh, the actual um, uh, fortifications of the the, the uh, ditch across the top of the fort so uh, yeah it's uh, I would say it's probably about sort of three meters three meters deep something like that at its highest onwards and upwards doing trooper all right So from here, you're looking at the, uh, at the northern edge of Castle Maze. Would it be northern or no, western? I think western, really. Um, and it's one of the reasons why it would have been very well protected. And that's the point of these um, promontory hill forts: is they're uh, naturally protected on. Uh, at least two sides and then um, you know they've just got the embankments to uh, defend the, uh, the third side and apparently they're um, they're quite rare it is a, um, a scheduled national monument because there's only apparently about a hundred promontory hill forts in the UK and uh, all of them are scheduled because you know they couldn't just build them wherever they chose to set up the, you know it needed the um you know the natural uh geography to uh form the fort so they're quite unusual let's carry on up right we're up so we're just uh heading around the uh side just turn left at the top and that's the easiest way to uh, gain access to the ramparts. So I'm uh, standing just near the start of the uh, ramparts now, I'm looking down, coming right across the field, probably about. 30, 40 metres below me, something like that. Um, you can see that the workings of the old access road, is, uh, you know, that's the uh, the old entrance to the fort and it comes back on itself. I'll just show you where that is uh, in a second where it arrives up at the, uh, the base of the ramparts. And uh, there you see the, uh, the access road turned right and uh, comes up here and the ramparts just to my right here
so it's uh, never been excavated but I believe it was surveyed in 1957 um, what you can see is the um, inner rampart um, and beyond that that was the enclosure of the fort they believed that this outer rampart here was built at a later date and then beyond that you've got a, a deep uh, ditch and then right up onto Coombs Moss behind So the outer rampart is a a little bit taller um, on the outer ditch probably about three to four meters in height and uh, it's said to be I believe it was 160 meters the ramparts from end to end I can't remember how many hectares it encloses uh, but I'll uh, I believe I, I believe it's listed on the internet so I'll put it up on the screen they, uh, they also believe that um, there's some continued usage of the fort on into medieval times and this um, central uh, entrance that um, you know cuts through both of the ramparts is believed to have been added at a later date and um, it, it could have given access to a uh, pack horse route out across the moors that was used later on um, as, as I've mentioned earlier, the original Iron Age entrance is at the, uh, the top end here and there is some evidence of an entrance just down at this, uh, this far end as well. Quite an impressive place. crossing over to the inner rampart now because it was uh, never excavated there's not been that many artifacts found here I believe there have been some uh, pieces of pottery and um, a later Roman coin found here but uh, the the survey showed um, evidence of uh, palisades and um, you know wooden buildings in the enclosure I'll, I'll give you a better view of the enclosure just now um, but uh, I haven't got any further details of the study and exactly what they found I suppose with modern methods now it'd be uh, fascinating for them to do it again and uh, see what uh, lies beneath the surface this little piece here where the earth has been removed somehow I don't know um, gives a possible idea of how it was uh, constructed and um, there's a lot of kind of broken rock and rubble that would have um, formed the, the structure and then covered with earth So there in front of me now is the triangle that's enclosed by the ramparts. It would have been the, uh, you know, the main living area of the fort. And at the uh, far end here of the inner rampart, it's um, 
whether it's better preserved it's certainly taller whether it was built taller or it's just you know it's just uh, been eroded less because it's you know perhaps less accessible from the path let's have a wander over there if I can get there And I'm uh, just getting down to the far western end where the uh, ramparts end and then it's kind of straight down over uh, Coombe's Edge. So, that was uh, Castle Ney's Promontory Hill Fort. I said the next time I was up here I'd give you a, a bit of a more detailed look around, so I uh, hope that was interesting. And uh, I'm just going to head back around now, have a better look at the uh, at, uh, Coombe's Edge from above, and then uh, continue our walk down into the village. And a great uh, idea of how well defended this western side of the fort was. Just uh, sheer cliffs. Plenty of rock climbers love them. So, just on a, an easy stroll down to the pub now. He's looking all smug for uh, going up uh, Coombe's Edge. It's, uh, it was a nice uh, nice climb. Not, not had a long walk today, but uh, it's just an interesting place to go and I didn't fancy a, a longer walk with the way I'm feeling with me here and whatever. So uh, anyway, that's about it for now probably bring, bring you back for a cheers depending on how busy the pub is but uh, hope you found that interesting thanks very much for watching and no doubt we'll see you on another video very soon see you now bye, bye. cheers Thornbridge Brewery Wild Swan very nice See you soon, bye.